just seen the bookcases among the like raw stone is an interesting aesthetic. Can the outsider speak? An analysis of his visit visitations. Perhaps the most well documented and yes also the most dubious of the outsider's visitations are his encounters with the men and women of the Abbey of the Everyman. Aside from vague descriptions of the temptations which the overseers the Naku or Raku or sisters both attribute to the outsider's presence, nor cases of the outsider's visitations in this category which merit our attention. First is the elevating account of the confrontation between the outsider and high overseer Francis Perry, who has maintained that the outsider assumed the form of a large serpent and attacked the high overseer in his chambers. I must stress the falsity of this story. The outsider's physical form exists bodily in the void and does not, as we know, shape shift like a trickster from some fanciful tale. Of returning to the confessions of an excommunicated Arakor sister, known by the name of Romana Kaim, we find a plausible tale. She recounted a dream in which the outsider appeared to her and understand that, and understanding the circumstances circumstances of a wrongful conviction of apostasy uh, offered her a gift. This was rejected. The next morning she was branded and turned out to the streets. We've seen the branding in the first game. We did it to a guy. Well that's creepy. Really, it's just down in water. Oof. That's gonna mess with the books. No, no, no. Have you read the third book of Last Bernard's seminars? Surely you must. It's essential. Vision broke apart the gate to the ritual hold to maintain the order of our existence. And the pieces exist outside of the passage of time. It is the basis of our semiotics. Thusly, all meaning flows from this state of within and without. Yes. My work focuses on this foundation of act. The exclusion of the outsider is necessary to maintain the hermeneutics of the self. What is us, what is they, without the outsider, to create that distinction? Have you encountered Camilla Corre's latest work? There is always the problem of framing, of delimitation. Do these distinctions make communication possible or impossible? Interesting theory. Corre? Oh, that she would question that is quite nonsense. <laughs> ah, someone there. Curiosity will be your death. Oh, that's annoying. Face your death. I'm surprised to hear them saying blood and piss. I really am. So that's like the closest I think they've come to swearing in this series. Still far away off, but work with what you got. That's important. I don't see where the south.
Ooh, I'm gonna actually hop down below. Yeah, what we were seeing there, I guess, was the eye. I thought I'd throw another one there. I'm not seeing it, though. Ah, oh, well. I keep thinking I'm hearing some sparking. Uh, library inventory and upkeep. R Remigo, our referencing system needs to be reviewed as soon as possible. Bibliographical inconsistencies have been noted in several recent works, which make studies and citation difficult. Some of the older texts have been gnawed at by the rats and need to be rebound. Make sure there is no mold in the page before removing the damaged bindings. The mines can be damp in unexpected places. Let's put down more poison. The first audit is clearly not working. Uh, have the latest accounts of sanguine infusion been sent to us? It's needed for our research. Repeated use of these infusions seems to have a delirious deli mental effect on like prolonged contact with the void. It's of great interest. You must compare long and short term consequences. When the Alice and Karnaka has smuggled a letter along with the shipment of texts and provisions, it, is ex it was examined and burned. Its contents intended recipient is unknown. Um. Sorry, one Dallas in Karnaka has smuggled a letter along with a con sh uh, shipment of texts and provisions. It was examined and burned. The intended recipient is unknown, but appears to be from a loved one. We'll find out whom it was written, uh, for whom it was written, and deal with them accordingly. For now, the Dallas direct Dallas to seek out the smuggler and the loved one. For a librarian, Convanera. I've already read this. Uh, this is part three. I'm moving for part one. Uh, the most common dialogical interactions we record with the outsider are conjections occurring at one of the many shrines tomb constructed across the aisles. They are considered, like all things of interest, heretical by the Abbey, uh, and are forbidden from public view. The simple altars are made of wood, wire, and other materials close at hand, adorned with candles, dried herbs, coin, and the pieces of carved whalebone known as a possess a blessing from the void. Though known of any item beyond the latter, it makes a tangible difference to the shrine's power. Nevertheless, it is through these ritualized shrine sites that contact with the outsider is possible. However, many such attempts are failures. Along are the list of potential incantations, sacrificed animals, and bodily foods which are said to compel the outsider to appear. None are successful. But there are but there yet there are yet there remain scattered first hand accounts of people bearing a mark bearing on their flesh what is colloquially known as the outsider's mark, which we recognize as a symbol engraved in whalebone uh, runes, uh, seemingly communing with these altars, and when they awake, are able to recount specifics of the outsider's voice and appearance which do not vary substantially in their description. Plumary notes and void anomalies. Despite the difficulty, we've managed a general study of the observable hollows, as some have called them. The anomalies in their provi provinces, uh, province uh, still baffle us. These falls in reality are imperceptible to those who have only recently joined us in seclusion. An extended communion with the eye is necessary before anything of this nature is revealed to us. Does the eye know? Does it share this knowledge with us so that we may understand it, might understand their nature? If so, what else might dead eye see? These confluences of the void show us the possibility of, th of time. As the ritual hold is outside of time's reach, are we bound up in the strands of several divergences? Might be there, it might be there are things still beyond our sight. We who watch the world align itself to our desires, are we to, to witness the end of time as we understand it? Inside the ritual. 
virtual hold, meeting the outsider face to face. His black eyes, his youthful form untouched by time. It sounds like she wants to shag him. As we recount our forebears walking with the outsider in dreams. One even vividly described him inviting her to suckle blood from the wound the envisioned inflicted upon him centuries ago. I wouldn't believe such accounts. Me neither. Based on poor scholarship, mystical ramblings at best. Set these wanderings aside. We know the nature of the outsider. There is only one place where he exists in the flesh, and it is forbidden to us. Still, it's tantalizing to think about. You know? I know what you mean. Oh yeah, she wants she wants to tap to tap him. I can feel it through the fabric. So comforting. And the planks. Foresight. What is that thing? Ah, it makes my eye burn. That's it. The eye of the dead god. Ooh, that's creepy. And it's not, I was expecting just the eyeball, but it's an actual eye. I wonder if there's more to the f face, you know? Um, mm. By the eye! Okay, I'm really, I really don't think this secret cultist base is up to code, gonna be honest. Yeah, it looks like it's part of a face. So if they mine it out further that way, they might find another eye. Maybe not, but I'll be curious to see. Huh, it even has a void fingernail. I can see everything. The void. Like looking under the waves and into the sea. I don't think I found the other way. Maybe it's still po seems like maybe it's still possible. Huh, I just ran down. Huh. That's in his That's an insert source. Okay then. I want to kill one of these. I can see everything. The void. Like looking oh, under the waves. Here's the guy. Uh, Mal Malcody's last notes. The 25th month of rain. What I do, I do for the sake of my studies. The risks are great, but it was never my n in my nature to leave questions unanswered. Everything must be revealed, in time. The others may judge me, but that same desire exists in their own hearts. They're simply too cowardly to pursue it. The only means to the ritual hold lies in pieces, suspended at the moment in time in which, in which that ancient gate was shattered. 
I will break the oldest and most sacred edicts of our order, dictates of our order by simply approaching it and to attempt to trespass. I do not know if I will succeed, but I must try. Whatever happens to my body, I know that my research is hidden in a safe place in my cell. Uh, my life has led to this moment. My wasted youth in the Academy of Natural Philosophy, my time with the Eyeless, my years in this sanctum. Uh, now I may finally uncover the secrets of it in the ancient language. Okay, so we can still go back. Whoa. Hey, creepy. Tall, dark, and gruesome. Okay, that seemed to do something. Nice. Yeah, it seems we'll have to just void strike him down. Actually, I'm thinking maybe. I remember, I was saying about the second eye. You know, maybe I was saying maybe this is just the other you know half to face. You know, one one part in the void, the other part not. Throw spikes. Uh. I was guessing that maybe his position on that was proof it was an attack from someone that killed him off. But maybe he was just pinned to there later. I don't know where the beastie's gone. There's gonna be plenty, uh, another chance to get a man, uh, kill one anyway. Damn. Looks like there was a um, mine there for a moment. Hopefully, it's not too loud. The music is a bit more here than what I was audio testing before. That's the one issue. I have to like audio test it w one thing, but for the entirety of the game, I can only use, use one example to test it forever. Uh, 